Hello, we come to the session of the class where we'll continue our introduction about big data and the associated uh, features, the applications, X informatics, the uh, processing, data analytics, and the overall framework, data science, which is largely the focus of this talk. This was the last slide, slide of the previous session, and it pointed out that um, one needs a diverse range of technologies from the well-established data warehouse through the newer technologies such as MapReduce, that's Hadoop, HBase, which is an open source version of Bigtable, and other NoSQL technologies such as Cassandra or MongoDB, which is getting particular popular now. Um, so now after, after that general discussion of the processing model and the architecture, the systems architecture, we come to a yet higher level discussion on the actual process of doing data science or analyzing big data in clouds to solve X informatics problems. And that's the so-called data science process. Now to perform the data science process, we need data scientists. And this is uh, Davenport, an evangelicist in this area from Harvard Business School, his view of a data scientist. He, uh, at the top, he makes uh, an important but possibly slightly controversial statement about what a data scientist is. He says that the person is 50% sort of statistician and modeling and things, and 50% computer science issues such as data management, and he can do lots of programming. So there are two comments on that which I have on the next slide. Uh, the first comment is that there if you remember the McKinsey report on data science, it said there were 1.5 million decision makers and managers and 190,000 nerds. So I would say Davenport's uh, uh, characterization is really for the nerds, not for the generalists, the larger 1.5 million. And the 1.5 million is roughly the target of this particular class. Uh, the second point to make about this issue is, if we, this is a general comment on interdisciplinary work. Originally, one used to think with interdisciplinary work, we will generate these individuals, which if we wanted computer science statistics and say application expertise on medical informatics, we'd chop up their brain and train a third of it in each of those areas. There is an alternative, which is to actually build a team of three people, one, each, one in each of those areas, and have the people, any one individual that's expert in one area, but able to talk to people in the other areas. So that's uh, possibly a more effective uh, approach because then you have real experts in every area. Uh, the other comments here are saying that obviously this happens in science from experimental physics, that's the Large Hadron Collider, biologists, that's gene sequencing and all the other aspects of biology which are advancing so fast. We need statisticians who actually take their, pro their expertise and apply to real areas. Biostatistics is a well-known field. And of course, we need the other areas of science as well. That says this is a disruptive technology, it's changing very fast, and it's better to do something quickly than to do it maybe a little more carefully and take a long time over it. So time to completion is pretty important. The other comment about groundbreaking says this is disruptive technology. It is going to break ground. Break, break uh, new areas open. So now we get to a slide from Jeff Hummerbach himself about the whole process. And he says that uh, he has his slide and several other people's slides on what the process should look like. And his slide is uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, he has seven uh, steps in the data science process. First is to identify the problem. That's obviously critical. You need to you need to know what you're doing, placing beer and diapers on shelves or trying to understand whether there's a Higgs boson. Once you decide what the problem is, you need to find where the data is going to come from and make certain that data um, is collectible. You need to build the accelerator. That takes some 20 years. Or else you just need to run a web crawler, which can be done overnight or something. Then you get all the data from whatever source you have. And you need to prepare it. So this preparation is roughly the conversion of data to information, or raw data to data to information. And that involves integrating data from different parts. I mean, this data is not necessarily collected in the same, same